Hello guys and welcome to part 7 of my incremental game tutorial in Unity using C Sharp. Uh, in this part I'm going to teach you how to convert your currency so that, for example, if you get over 1000 it'll say 1.000k and if you get over a million it'll say 1.000m and so on. Um, this is kind of easy to do. Uh, first of all we need to go ahead and create another C Sharp script and I'll call this currency converter. Let's open that up. And this time I'm not gonna forget to increase the size or so I thought. What the F control plus. There we go. And by the way, if you want to have this cool darker theme, just go to Windows, or Tools, Options, Syntax Highlighting, and select Monokai, and click OK. I don't know, it's just, it's not as bright as the other one, so if you're programming or coding at night, it doesn't hurt your eyes as much. Uh, so going to the new script that we created, gonna remove all of this, and uh, I'm gonna make an instance of this script, and that's just so I can easily access the function that we're going to use to convert our gold into say 1000 gold so I'm going to be able to access this from all scripts using this instance so we're going to go private static currency converter instance public static currency converter instance and we're going to get return instance and uh, now we're going to create a function to create this instance I'm just going to call it create instance and this is going to get called uh, in the beginning to check if this uh, script is indeed an instance and if not it's going to create an instance so if instance equals null uh, instance equals this and we're gonna call this function in the awake uh, function and the awake function uh, that's kind of like start only it's earlier like it's the earliest highest priority uh, when the game starts so great instance and now for the function that we're gonna use to convert our gold uh, and it's gonna return a string. Like if you think of it, if it's gonna be over 1000, it has to return the K at the end, which is the string. So, public string. Uh, I'm gonna call it get currency into string. Uh, and to be able to convert our gold, we need to pass in a bunch of variables. Uh, we need to firstly pass in the float, which is our gold. So I'm just going to go float. Uh, I'm going to call it value to convert. Uh, and I'm also going to pass in two different booleans, uh, which are basically just true or false variables. So I can use those to add gold per click at the end or gold per sec at the end if it's uh, uh, gold per click uh, like display text that we're gonna change uh, you don't need to do this if you don't want to uh, but I'm gonna use it just to show you how it's how you could do that so pool and I'm gonna call this currency per sec and another pool for currency per click so inside here we're gonna create the string I can call it converted and converted that it's just what this function is going to return it's going to return a string uh, so we need to check if our value to convert aka our gold exceeds a certain limit so I'm just going to show you how to do up to a million so you get a million and one thousand you could just as easily just add uh, a billion uh, but you would you would just build 
upon this. It's no, not complicated at all. Uh, but you need to add the highest value that you convert into something else at the top. Uh, it's just uh, logic, like you have to think. And it goes into this if statement. So if I were to first want to check if we have above 1000 to convert it into uh, 1.000k. So if uh, our value to convert is higher or equal to 1000, that would be equal to true. So it, it would never enter uh, the second part of the if statement to check if it has over 1 million. It will just settle on this. So we need to check if it has over 1 million first, or the highest value that you want to check. So if it's over 1 million, uh, then we need to set converted to be equal to uh, inside parentheses value to convert uh, divided by 1 million. So it would return a 0. F is a string, and I'm going to say, or a float, and two string, and now just how many per or decimals you want. I want three decimals, so F3 plus, and since this is a million, I'm just going to add mil at the end. Uh, and then else if, so else if it's over. Uh, or equal to 1000, we're gonna do basically the exact same thing. So, convert it to be equal to value to convert divided by 1000f to string 3 plus, I'm just gonna add k. And if it's not, if it's over, oh my god, why is this keep doing that? Uh, if it's not greater than 1000 at all, it's gonna go in here. Also, if it's. No, actually, it's, it, it, won't, it won't bug up, but we need to tell it to don't do anything if it's uh, not over 1000. I don't even know like if you really need to do that, but just in case, it's not gonna complain. About anything, so we have to do uh, empty semicolon since it's a string, and then pass in our value to convert. And now to add the text, if it's a gold per or currency per click or currency per sec, we need to check if our currency per sec equals true, and then we want to convert equal to converted plus uh, just gold per sec so I'm just gonna add GPS in there I really I'm not I don't think I'm gonna use this but I'm just gonna show you how to do it just in case and then currency per click that's true it's gonna add GPC and this function needs to return the string or, or the converted value so return convert and that should be it for this script uh, I'm gonna go back to unity I'm gonna create an empty game object and just call this currency converter or currency converter and just add the script onto here it doesn't need to be anywhere I'm just gonna place it in the center because that's I don't know. I've been taught that way, so I'm just gonna do that. Uh, and now, if I wanted to convert this, for example, I already, by the way, made all the numbers very high, so I can get over 1,000 very quickly to show you. Uh, now it's not gonna do anything. Uh, so we need to go into our script that displays this text, which is in our click script. So it's the gold display text. So right now, just displays the gold right here. Uh, so I'm gonna replace this with currency converter dot instance dot get currency into string and now we need to pass in our value to convert which is gonna be gold 
Is it gold per sec? No. So let's add false. Is it gold per click? No. So let's add false. And that's it. Hopefully no errors. And when we play it and get over 1000 it's say 0 0.000k. 0 0 uh, so this is kind of useful to limit the amount of numbers that gets displayed. Um, as you can see, if you get over 1 million, it just says 2.003 mil. Um, uh, if you wanted to convert this as well, all we need to do is go here to the gold per click text, or yeah, gold per click text, and replace this with currency converter instance get currency to spring. And now we're going to pass in the gold per click value which really is an integer, so I don't even know if this is going to work, but let's see. Uh, so gold per sec is going to be false, and gold per click, now it needs to be true. So let's see if that works. Well, it's not complaining, so it should work. Uh, yes, it works, very good. and over a million per click. And if you wanted to add so that these uh, the, the gold cost on the buttons or the uh, gold per sec uh, on the buttons uh, converts into like millions or thousands uh, you would do the exact same thing uh, there just uh, go into your item manager and instead of showing cost right here, just convert and pass in the cost uh, variable uh, for the float. And that's all you need to do. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching this part and uh, let me know what you want to see next. I'm thinking about doing like uh, uh, secondary currencies, for example that you have a chance to mine gems when you click the mine button or something like that and just add variables to the items so that you need to have or like special upgrades that adds a percentage boost to your gold per click something like that uh, but yeah if you have any other suggestions just let me know don't forget to leave a comment subscribe to my channel like the video share it pass it on if you have any friends that looking to get into some C-sharp programming and yeah thanks for watching bye